Hi everybody, so something completely different today. I am going to be doing black and white photography in the woods. So yeah, something different. Uh, the one thing I have done, and if you're gonna do black and white photography, I definitely recommend that you do this. In your camera settings, change it to monochrome. And then when you're looking through the viewfinder, or looking at the screen, you will see everything in black and white. That will make things far easier for you when you are looking for those compositions in black and white. Now the good thing is, if you are shooting in RAW, then the RAW file will actually save as color. Now I have two card slots in my camera. So in one I save in RAW, the other in JPEG. The JPEG will save in black and white, the RAW file will be in color. So you may get home and actually find that you prefer the color version, in which case, it's no problem because you have both settings. So yeah, something different today. So let's see, hopefully it's gonna spark a bit of creativity for me. Uh, to be honest, I was in the woods a couple of days ago. I was a little bit struggling for composition. So yeah, let's try with the black and white. So I'm really at the moment just concentrating on some macro photography uh, for the monochrome. So I really like the cluster here. Again, it really helps the fact that the flower is actually white. Um, because then obviously in black and white that, that really stands out even more in the leaves as well. But again, I quite like it in colour, but uh, I'm going to definitely edit this one in monochrome. I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would and before you there was no one Another shot that I'm working on, just again looking at the macro, so really just focusing in here. Again, I'm going to try and get the background as blurred out as possible. And once again, I think it's going to work much, much better in monochrome. But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me So for years now I've been trying to get a photo of this fallen tree that I like so far, zero success, <laughs> but I'm trying it in black and white and I think for the first time I may actually have a great photo of this. I mean, I love this thing. It looks like it's got an eye here, some nostrils here. It does look like a bit of a monster. Now, if there's one tree absolutely made for black and white, it's definitely a silver birch tree. Again, this works so much better in monochrome. But I'm going to try and blow out the background again and really push it regarding the exposure. So I'm just working on this shot here. Uh, I'm going to play around with the angles and the composition, but you've got the, the flowers here and then the hut in the background. I'm also going to play around with the depth of field. So at the moment, this is F10 you're seeing in the video, so you can pretty much see everything in focus, but I'm going to step it down. I've still got my 50 mil by uh, and 1.8 lens on. So I might even step it down just to kind of get the background out of focus so that the front part is in focus, but the hut is not in focus. So I might step it down to around 3.5, 4, something around that, uh, just to try and get that out of focus background in the shot.
so I'm just taking a look at this composition here. You've got the nice rings on the, on the cut down trees and the bark as well. So I'm going to wait for the sun to come out from behind a cloud because it will light these up a little bit and you'd get an extra dimension because some will be uh, in shade, some will be in light. But yeah, again, in my opinion, it's something that's going to work much better in monochrome. So I'm just working on this composition here. You've got the nice contrast again, the white path going round the tree with the darker trees in the background. So this should look quite nice again, I think in monochrome. So one of the keys to doing black and white photography is to look for texture. So this has got a really nice texture on the trunk of this tree, uh, just using a 50mm uh, lens as before, but this should look quite nice, I think. Yeah, for me, this is a great example of where black and white actually works better. In colour here, it's not that great. A lot of the definition on the trees is missed out. There's a lot of detail up and down this tree which you don't see in colour. working on this shot here. I really like the, the green uh, with the fallen tree trunk uh, in the background as well. So again, just try and work on the composition here, but I think that might look quite nice. I mean, even in color, it looks pretty good, but um, yeah, I think for black and white, that's also gonna work really well. I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go so it's certainly been a morning where I have been outside of my comfort zone, but I've really enjoyed it. Trying to stretch my creativity, look for those shots that work well in black and white. I would highly recommend that you go out and do the same, to be honest, um, particularly if you're in a bit of a creative rut, which is what I felt a couple of days ago, last time I was in a, in a woodland. Yeah, I've also think I've discovered a liking for macro photography and I've forgotten just how good the Nikkor 50mm 1.8 lens is. Normally I just use it for portrait uh, photography, but I've actually used it for the entire uh, woodland photography trip today and it's certainly a lens I'm going to come back to. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you for the next video.